Hello again everybody and welcome back to uh, Fly Simulator S Gold Edition. Today we're going to be doing the Rome Naples airline run. Fly an Airbus A321 down the west coast of Italy from Rome to Naples. This this is this is my kind of mission, you know, the pure jet transport things. There, I, I like these kind of things. I'm not necessarily good at them, but yeah, let's go to the briefing. It's estimated time to complete is 30 minutes, by the way, if I, if I didn't if I didn't mention that. Objective is to land at Capodicino Air International Airport, uh, the uh, category is airline pilot. As an A321 captain, you spend your days and occasional lights in command of one of the world's most sophisticated airliners. This afternoon's flight is a short 113 mile hop down to the west coast of hop down the west coast of Italy from Rome's Fiam Fiamicino Airport to Capodicino Air International Airport in Naples. It's an easy trip over some beautiful terrain. The mission begins with your A321 ready to go, holding short of the runway. During this flight, your co-pilot will handle all radio communications, but you'll handle all aircraft systems. Okay. So, I will see you when we're in the mission, guys. Uh, yeah, see you then. Hello, guys. I'll handle all radio communication on this flight. Hold short of the runway, and I'll get our takeoff clearance. Thank you. Fiumi Tower, Orbit 221, ready to go, holding short, 1-6 right. Orbit 221, cleared for takeoff. Maintain runway heading, climb and maintain 4,000. Cleared for takeoff, Orbit 221. Okay, we're cleared for takeoff. Turn on the landing lights and then turn left onto the runway and let's head to Naples. After takeoff, maintain runway heading, climb to maintain 4,000. The landing lights, uh, okay. One second, landing lights. Um, one second. Where are the... Right, what? One second. I must have... No, it's not it. Controls... Where's the button for the landing light? Oh god, I've... Shit, what have I done? Okay, I, 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 I was at one, two, zero, I think. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck have I done here? Okay, I, I was at one, two, zero, zero, and now I was. Uh, fuck! How do I turn this off? Shit, can I, can I move it? Oh, thank God for that. Right, radio. Oh, what the fuck am I doing now? No, 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 no. T turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, clear it now. What the f oh, deal. One, one sec. Where's. Ah, oh, there it is. I are they on here? Ah, landing lights. On. Right. Thank fuck for that. Uh. I want to see if I can program the route into my GPS. Which which uh, thing is? What are the initials? L I R N. Right. So if we go to that, enter. No, no, sorry, that's not, that's not right. My bad. Clear. Uh, do that. Shit! What the fuck? L, no, I can't actually. Ah, L I R N, Capodicino, Naples, enter, e enter, activate. Okay. So I programmed the routes. Okay, very nice. Uh, so, what, what do we need to do now? It, it, it's, it's all very intense preparation. Turn the, turn the landing lights and turn. Turn left on the runway and let's head for Naples. After takeoff, maintain runway heading, climb and maintain 4,000. Okay, so let's... Put a bit of power in. Oh, one second. Slow down. Turn left onto this runway. 
slow down a bit, slow down. I'm going to climb and maintain 4,000 feet, apparently. Right, so let's just position the camera behind the plane. Makes it a lot easier, to be honest. Right, so here we are. We've put full, we've put full throttle on. V1. Rotate. V2. Gear up. Okay. Set flaps zero. Yeah, flaps are at zero. Orbit two twenty one. Contact Rome departure on one two nine point zero. Over speed. Good grief. Reduce thrust to stay below three hundred and forty knots. Orbit two twenty one. Switching to departure. Yeah, we're going way too Rome fast. Departure. There. Orbit two twenty one. With him, climb to four thousand. Orbit two twenty one. Rome departure. Radar contact. Time and maintain. Proceed direct Pacti Catimare. Up to 6,000, direct Prada Catamari, orbit 221. Alright, Captain, climb to 6,000 and fly direct to the Prada Catamari NDP. Okay, right, that's the speed thing sorted. Shit, I. I, I, I just accidentally pressed F4 by accident, didn't mean to. Let's run through the after takeoff checklist. Landing gear, up. Flaps, set to zero. After takeoff checklist complete. That's that was a very short one. Orbit two twenty one, contact Rome Center on one twenty four point eight. Have a look out to the left. There's Rome. Orbit 221, switching to Rome Center. Thanks. Rome? Rome Center, Orbit 221 with Holy you, climbing to 6,000. Holy f- Orbit 221, climb and maintain 11,000. Up to 11,000, Orbit 221. Okay, we're clear to climb to 11,000 feet. Right, let's fucking go a bit higher here. this thing doing? Honestly. Oh my lord. I, I've, I fucked up this, this, you know, take off so badly, but, uh, why is this in my freaking way? What? One second. Oh, there we go. It's a lot better. Okay. Oh, I don't want this either. One sec. Oh, my lord. Okay. That's, that's a lot better. Okay, so we have to climb and get 11,000 feet now. Let's just increase thrust a tad. Everything looks good from there. Right, 11,000 feet we have to climb to, so just keep an eye on that, uh, on the altitude thing. We're crossing over the product at Amari NDB. Turn to a heading of 092 degrees and fly to the Frosinone VOR. Okie dokie. Uh, I, I probably didn't even need a GPS for this mission, but, you know, I, I always do like to... 1,000 to go. Turn the landing lights and the seatbelt sign off. Level off at 11,000 feet and set cruise thrust. Don't exceed 340 knots. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned off the fastened seatbelt sign, indicating that it is safe to move about the cabin. For your <laughs> own safety, though, we request that you keep your seatbelt fastened when you're in your seat during this short flight. We'll start our in-flight beverage service shortly. Yeah, yeah, you do that. We're above our assigned altitude. Yes. Descend to 11,000 feet. Descend, descend, descend. Uh, 
Uh, it said not to exceed 340 knots, I think. Why is there an Australian in Italy? Just need to get to 11,000 feet on the altitude uh, indicator, so just keep on descending for a bit. Okay, we should be level off about now. Level off, level off, level off, level off, please. Try and keep it at 11,000 feet, if possible. It said to engage cruise thrust. One second, if I just pause it here, is there a thing in the keys for cruise thrust? Cruise. No. Nope. Thrust? No. Nope. Speed. Autopilot airspeed. Uh, autopilot. Oh wow, look at all this. There's, a, there's autopilot. Autopilot. Let's put on Z. We have actually set it to autopilot. Isn't that amazing? I, I, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kick back now. It's, it's all getting a bit high, isn't it? Uh, it, yeah, it's uh, it's still on though. Huh. I will go to the external view and just see what see what's going on as we don't really have to bother around the systems. Uh, so we can remember now that uh, we can actually put it on autopilot. I'll be quite happy to do this, guys, because uh, it probably make my job a lot easier. If you can hear it in the background, it's the phone ringing. I'm not going to answer it. Uh, yeah, I'm quite happy to leave it like this, guys. But uh, if you want me to fly them manually, then let me know. Because it probably will be more entertaining. But yeah, autopiloting sounds all good, really. We're getting, we're, we're, we're getting a bit low now, aren't we? I just realised the autopilot, uh, it's actually been set to go on the route that my GPS is set to. Oh god. A minute, if we just open the map a second. We're below our assigned altitude. Climb to 11,000 feet. <sighs> One second, I'll turn the autopilot off. What the fuck was that? This is all feeling a bit weird now. Okay, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so yeah, no wonder it was all looking a bit weird. We weren't actually going the right direction there because I had my GPS set. Okay. We're below our assigned altitude. I'll forget about the GPS then. Reduce thrust a bit and climb. The reason I'm reducing thrust is because we're not to exceed 340 knots and we're working quite close to that, so. At least we know we can set to autopilot, but we can't do it right right now. Good afternoon. Oh god. 
So we'll level out about here, I'd say. Right, we're we'll on a descent there, I think. Oh, God. Ah, it is a shame we can't use the autopilot. Maybe if, um, I see one second. What the fuck have I done there? Turn the mouse yoke off again and open the GPS. Can I change it to just go to, if it was clear, clear. Uh Ah, that's the zoom thing. Uh Okay, I see. Uh Yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not exactly sure how to just disable this now. Ah, whatever. We'll forget about that. What have I just done? Oh, fucking hell. Can I turn that off, please? Ah, oh, grief. It's, 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 it's all going a bit weird right now, honestly. But I'll, uh, I'll just fly, I'll just fly it manually for now. Probably the best idea. Yeah, guys, uh, at least I have discovered that if you do press uh, Z or Z, you actually do um, engage the autopilot, which which does travel along the assigned route that you set into your GPS. So you can use your GPS to the, to your advantage, I suppose. But for now, we'll just travel to the FRS VOR. And hopefully everything else goes to plan. I don't want any more complications with some GPS bollocks. I, don't know, I just realised I've got the engine thing set on. How do I turn that off? There we go. Okay. Got it sorted. Freaking everything's just jumping out at me right now. We're crossing over the Frosinone VOR. Okay. Turn to a heading of 123 degrees and fly to the Teano VOR. Teano VOR? The TiVo. That's pretty much what this is, the T-ball. On, keep on turning. Okie dokie, that is good. Let's just ascend a bit, maybe. Well, what, what would happen if we press Z now, I wonder? 
Z. Just observe. Yep, yeah, we're going too high. One sec. Uh, so, could we change it now? I wonder. Uh, fucking hell. One second. Can, can we zoom in? What's that? Oh, uh, fucking hell. The fuck's happened here? Just, uh, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> Honestly, I, I really sh sh probably shouldn't be trying to do this, but you know, no, no, I don't, I don't, I don't want that. What the fuck? Seriously now? Oh, that, oh, oh, that, that changes the GPS mode, All right. I'll keep a set of that. Flight plan. As well as it just clear everything, like this. You can just clear it, possibly. What the fuck is going on here, honestly? No, can I? Oh my lord. I'm getting annoyed now. Really. Um. Clear. Oh, God. Fuck, fuck this GPS. It's pissing me off now. Okay, let's just go. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't freaking use that anymore. If uh, if there's animations where you know I may might be able to get away with using that, that 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 I will, you know, actually use it, but. This already has properly set waypoints and everything, so there's not real, really much point in doing it. In in using the GPS anyway. He sounds like a serious Texan. <sighs> See, so yeah, we're we're about twenty twenty one point yeah twenty one point uh, twenty one and a half miles now from the the T-ball 
as I'll call it. We, we are we're actually surprisingly maintaining uh, 11,000 feet right now. One second, let me, let, me, let me just check this thing again. So can, can, can we actually can, can we set an approach maybe? Approach. The Vord me or six or the Vord? What the fuck? Oh, the Vord. Ah. Yeah, we're going via the Vord Vord VRR, aren't we? So go there. And. Iskia, Lord. Okay, okay. So yeah, uh, you can actually use that approach thing to autopilot your way there, again, but I don't think that we can actually do that right now, but we'll go to the uh, VOR anyway. <sighs> One second, I'll, I'll see if we can... Oh! I asked to pause the thing. Jesus Christ! <laughs> right. Can we maybe just get rid of the thing? I really wish there's a way to just turn it off, you know? Eh, whatever. I'm, I'm using I'm using that GPS way too much for my own good, I think. I I, I will check one more time just to see if we can use it to actually. Uh, To actually guide us to the airport after this after this waypoint that we're going to here, but if if I need to, I will do it manually. It's always a lot more relaxing when you can do it in autopilot, but uh, there's no real need to do it, I suppose. I just realised we're quite low, actually. Just ascend to eleven thousand. Right, there we go, we're we're at, we are at eleven thousand, so Five miles to the T-Bow. 
approaching the Teano VOR. Crossing the VOR, turn to a heading of 106 degrees and fly to Agati intersection. The Agati intersection, holy fuck. Orbit 221, contact Naples approach on 124.35. Orbit 221, switching to approach, thanks. Naples approach, Orbit 221 with you. Orbit 221, Naples approach. Expect radar vectors for the visual approach, runway 24. Naples altimeter 2992. Looks like we're going to get the visual approach. That'll make things easy for us. The visual approach, awesome. So we're just heading towards the intersection here. Sorry, I, ju I just hit the auto pilot button to see, see what would happen there again, but it started turning, so probably not the best idea to use this. I'd say this has been a fairly calm flight so far, you know, we haven't run into any, any complications, but the, uh, the, the approach will, will probably be, be my downfall, as it freaking always is. Always is my downfall, the approach and the landing and all that, unfortunately. I'm just quite simply not very good at this, so... <laughs> oh well. Once once the objective does actually change to the uh, airport itself, I'll see if I can set the approach to the airport for runway 24. Then maybe we can autopilot our way there. <laughs> Just slowly turn slightly. Oh god, it's a bit of a descent. Although we do actually need to descend a little bit, so that's all well and good. I, I really hope the passengers are actually staying in their seat and using their seat belts because it has been a bit of a bumpy ride <laughs> with all this ascending and descending. I really do hope that they have been using their seat belts. Otherwise, one of them might have hit the roof of the plane by now. Only 15 miles to go now until we reach the intersection at least, which is quite good. Let's switch to the virtual cockpit for a second. Approach, landmark 618 has a runway in sight. Landmark 618, cleared for the visual approach, nice view. runway 24. Shit. Cleared for the visual approach, landmark 618. Landmark 618. Going a bit too high, yeah. Contact the tower. We're above our assigned altitude. Descend to 11,000 feet. Over uh, the tower now, landmark 618. I, 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 was only trying to, I was only trying to look around, just trying to get the view of Italy, but the freaking mouse yoke always buggers it all up. I'll just sort the altitude thing out now. Yeah, it's more or less sorted. Excellent. We're less than 10 miles away now from the Agotti. 
a hell of a name, that Agotti. Fucking hell. The white arrow that that was just on my GPS there, on my, uh, you know, on board GPS, uh, it completely just flew off to the left. I don't know why. Ugh. Lovely view of the clouds from here, anyway. Shen and maintain 7,000. 7,000, okay. Down to 7,000, orbit 221. You catch that, Captain? Descend to 7,000 feet. Will do, will do. Now that we're descending below 10,000 feet, turn the landing lights and the seatbelt sign on and reduce your speed to 250 knots. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now commencing our descent into Naples. We hope you've enjoyed this short flight. Hope you'll join us again. Flight attendants, please prepare the cabin for landing. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain has turned on the fastened seatbelt sign. In preparation for landing, please make sure your seat backs and tray tables are in the upright and fully locked. Pardon me, I just need to turn the lights on. Actually, they're not supposed to be on, aren't they? Yeah. Oh well, they don't actually need to do anything now, don't they? We'll be making a final pass through the cabin to pick up any service items, and we'll be on the ground shortly. <laughs> Orbit 221, turn right, heading 210. Reduce speed to 180 knots. Right to 210, slowing to 180. Orbit 221. Start a right turn now to a heading of 210 degrees. Reduce thrust to bring our speed back to 180 knots. Set flaps 1. Whoops. My bad. I accidentally fully extend the flaps there. Just need to do it one that way. There we go. What the fuck is it? Calm down with your mast warning thing. I'm, there's nothing even wrong. Right, we can level out now. Fine, I'll pull the flaps back Orbit in. Orbit 221, turn right heading 240. Descend and maintain 3000. Report the runway in sight. Right to 240, down to 3000. Orbit 221. We're almost there, Captain. Turn right to 240 degrees and descend to 3,000 feet. 240, okay. So now, at this point, I will try and set the approach in the GPS. Okay, so... Once, actually, I need to do this first. Uh, how do I do this? What the fuck? Freaking hate this thing. It's so awkward to use, honestly. Why why can't I Oh. No. What the fuck? Oh dear lord. L. Ah, L R I N. L R R I N. There it is, cappuccino, enter, enter, activate, yes. Right, so that's that set, so if we just put it to program, uh, select approach, enter, ILS24, that's it. Enter. Uh, we're going by that, but Bento, load. Okay. And then we go to program again and we activate the approach. Activate the autopilot here.
We're actually meant to be a three. Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna disable the autopilot again. Here. Probably not the best idea because we're meant to be at three thousand feet, I think, and uh, yeah, we're kind of uh, at six thousand right now. So we need to descend. Sent to about 3,000, I think. Hopefully get over these fucking mountains before we do that, actually. Probably the best, probably the best idea. Yeah, let's make sure we get over these mountains first. We don't want to be going at 3,000 feet here, because that is almost certainly an altitude. Oh, God. Yeah, we need to be, we just need to get up a bit here. We don't want to be going too much lower. Otherwise we will hit these mountains and that won't be good at all. <laughs> just make sure we're clear of these mountains first before we do anything else. See if we can line ourselves up with this white line on the thing, on the on the GPS here. Again, make sure we don't hit that mountain there. Okay, we are over the mountain, so I think at this point, I'll actually activate the approach autopilot. And we'll just keep it on the external view to make sure that this is actually correct. I think we actually are meant to extend the flaps one, aren't we? I don't know why it does that, honestly. We have the runway in sight, Orbit 221. Orbit 221, cleared for the visual approach, runway 24. Cleared for the visual, Orbit 221. That's the airport about 8 miles ahead, just northeast of the city. Continue descending to the runway and maintain 180 knots. The airport is about 300 feet above sea level. I, I hope using the autopilot here won't actually jeopardise anything that we're meant to be doing. Otherwise we might be a bit screwed. Uh, one second, let's go back to the... Absolutely... Orbit 221, contact Naples Tower now on 118.5. Orbit 221, roger. Uh, Lower says Naples. Naples Tower, Orbit 221 on the visual approach for runway 24. Orbit 221, Naples. Tower, wind calm, runway 24, cleared to land. Cleared to land, orbit 221. Okay, we're cleared to land. Lower the landing gear, slowly add full flaps, and reduce your speed to 140 knots for the approach. Landing gear, where exactly is the plane going? I'm not gonna lie, I'm slightly concerned here. You know what, fuck the autopilot. Seriously fuck the autopilot. Uh, I, 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 I don't think I can actually, I can actually trust that thing. Bro, we need to slow down. Like really need to slow down here. Level 
Let's run through the before landing checklist. Landing gear, down. Yep. Flaps, set to full. Landing checklist complete. Flaps set to full now. I've seen better better approach paths, honestly, but right. Let's try and do this as correctly as possible. This doesn't look too bad, but it could go sour if I do something wrong at this point. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yes, touchdown. Oh, God. We ended up back in the air. Slow. Break, 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 break. I shall keep taxiing them. Whew. Yeah, the, the autopilot in this game really does confuse me, if I'm honest. I really don't know what the fuck it's doing. Sometimes. Maybe it's just not ideal for this for these sorts of things, you know, like the actual missions. Take a left here on Taxiway Bravo. Okay. Stop here. Set flap zero, check spoilers down. Naples ground, orbit 221. Orbit 221, taxi to the terminal. To the terminal, orbit 221. Flaps Taxi straight ahead. We park at gate A3. That's just to the right of that other A321. Ladies and gentlemen, gate welcome A3. to Naples. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until the aircraft has come to a complete stop at the gate and the captain has turned off the fastened seatbelt sign. It's been our pleasure to serve you and we hope you'll choose to fly with us again soon. Have a great day here in Naples or wherever your final destination may be. <laughs> And stop here. Put the parking brake on. Maybe we need to be a bit more aligned. Woohoo! Uh... 
lights. Uh. One second. Turn that off. Strobe lights. Do we actually have a seatbelt light? Ah, oh, seatbelt. I should have never actually turned it on. Holy fuck. But yeah, we, we're done, guys. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, then please like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share with your friends. Stay tuned for our episode of Fly Simulator X Gold Edition. If you have any suggestions for games that I can play on this channel, leave, then please leave your suggestion in the comment section below, and I will add the game to my to-do list. Thanks again, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Have a nice day. Cheers. Bye.